Here's a quiz. What's the tallest dog in the world? One of America's favorite cartoon dogs. And a dog that was thought to protect people from ghosts. That's right, the Great Dane. They're called like the Apollo of the dog world, and they definitely deserve that name. They're beautiful. Powerful and athletic, yes. But the Great Dane's calm disposition has led the gentle giant to be called world's largest lap dog. I had a client the other day with his Great Dane, I kid you not, sitting on his lap in the waiting room. But the roots of this breed are anything but warm and fuzzy. First of all, they're not really Danish. It's interesting that their name is Great Dane when their origins have nothing to do with Denmark. They're actually a German Mastiff. <laughs> I'm stumped. <laughs> I'm not sure how the name Great Dane came up. While no one really knows how the English name of this dog came to be Great Dane, the breed is part of the Mastiff family. Asiatic tribes likely brought Dane-like dogs to Germany in the 5th century. There's evidence of dogs resembling the Great Dane in ancient Rome, Egypt, and even China. The breed we know today was developed in Germany about 400 years ago. They were bred in Germany to hunt large prey, to patrol estates, and they were even used as war dogs. It's a mastiff that's, that's mixed with a, a greyhound. I think sometimes people forget that underneath all that calm is still a very, very large guarding dog. The breed was also ascribed mystical powers in medieval times and was said to protect against evil spirits. The Great Dane is a magical animal. Run, Caleb. Over the last hundred years, the aggression and prey drive that made the dog such a sought-after hunter have largely been bred out of the breed. Today's Great Danes prefer the couch to combat. They'll lay on the couch, you better have a big bed. They are couch potatoes. The physical characteristics bred into this dog leave no doubt as to its original purpose. Start with great height. It's just a gigantic beast. We're talking about paws that are the size of a man's hand, fully splayed. The Great Dane is one of the tallest dogs, along with the Irish Wolfhound. The Irish Wolfhound is actually, on average, taller than the Great Dane. But a Great Dane named Gibson currently holds the title of world's tallest dog at 42.2 inches. While its cousin, the English Mastiff, is the heaviest dog at 150 pounds or more, the Great Dane is no pushover. In fact, they like to do the pushing. A lot of Danes tend to be leaners. They tend to be like Doberman's dogs who like to step on your feet and kind of lean on you. Most of that height comes from proportionally long legs. As big as they are, they're just so beautiful to see because they're not clumsy. They're very graceful when they move. The head of the Great Dane is unmistakably Mastiff-like. The top of the skull is almost exactly parallel to the large snout. This gives the dog a regal appearance. The Great Dane is one of the most varied of all breeds. They can weigh anywhere from 120 to 200 pounds, and there are six coat color varieties. For the most part, they do well almost anywhere, but Danes do need space. This isn't a dog that you cramp into an apartment. This is a dog that needs to stretch its legs out every single day. Its large size makes it critical to train this dog early. The Great Dane is a short-haired dog, so grooming is no sweat. As easy as hosing them off and sponging them down. Unfortunately, health problems abound. This breed has one of the shortest life expectancies of all dogs at seven and a half years. While the legs are often the first to go, Great Danes are prone to a devastating internal disorder. They are the number one breed of dog to get bloat. It's the number one reason why a Great Dane dies, and that's unfortunate because you get such a close bond with them. Bloat can occur when a dog with a full stomach engages in heavy activity, like exercise. Great Danes, along with many other breeds, have stomachs that are not attached to the rib cage. During heavy activity, the stomach can flip, blocking the intestinal tract. If not treated immediately, bloat is extremely dangerous. What we need to be doing is making sure that they eat their meal and they rest for a good 40 minutes to an hour before giving them any type of exercise. 
Despite the health concerns, these dogs fit in well with families. I think kids might tend to think that they could climb all over that dog and you know, ride it like a pony, climb on it when it's laying on the bed, and that's really not a safe thing to do with any dog, and certainly not a dog as large as a Great Dane. Not all dogs adhere to breed standards, but in general, the Great Dane needs space. The breed does not live long. It has lots of health issues. They're easy to groom. They're easy to train, but start early. Train and acclimate them early to children, and they'll be wonderful family dogs.